Mabuhay Coach J.C. Libyan here. I am a knowledge broker, a life coach, an author, and a feast builder for the Light of Jesus family with Brother Bo Sanchez. And uh, every Sunday, we have this online experience and available yan sa fp.com forward slash the feast OPM. Um, I am Sky Ortigas. I am a web designer and also I am a social media manager for uh, a church media company called um, Ariopagos Communications. I am also a part of a youth group that we call ourselves uh, online missionaries and our advocacy is to evangelize online and to spread God's word online. So the name of our group is called Youth Pinoy. Hi everyone, I'm Zarina Rola. I'm one of the campus missionaries from Every Nation Campus U-Belt. That's the campus arm of Victory U-Belt. Now to know more of what we do, feel free to check out our Facebook at Every Nation Campus U-Belt. Napakalaga for us to see worthy, to change perspective, to change our lens, that this crisis can make us better instead of Bitter, that we can thrive and not just survive. That this opportunity uh, presents also, um, you know, learning, growth from us. That we can really grow beyond this crisis. And I encourage you that during this time, you can actually write down your blessings. This can be an opportunity for you to, you know, look back how were you able to survive your trials in the past, and that also includes you writing your dreams and really being uh, excited to what God has in store for you. It's okay to also not be okay because we don't know that this is hap that this can happen to all of us. We are living like in a movie, and then everything is, you know everything just shuts down so it's okay to be anxious it's okay not to be okay but it is also our way to motivate ourselves to be more present to be grateful and to recognize the little blessings and little miracles that come our way one of the things that i wrote there is to to be motivated by faith not by fear to live by faith over fear for me, in times of crisis, I know that we will always benefit from SSS. Okay, we will benefit from SSS. Ano yon? Number one, sticking with God. Um, there's, alam mo, times may change and there will always be uncertainties. But knowing that we have an unshakable and unchanging God always boosts our faith. So stick with God. Number two, yung isa pang S is surround yourself with the church community. So, knowing that we are not fighting this battle alone gives us um, an infused energy to continue on fighting. So, hindi ka lumalaban mag-isa. And the last S sa SSS natin is stay focused on the mission. So, God is doing something in our midst today and knowing that we have a mission as believers, as followers of Christ, makes us focus and see the things that are happening with us with the lens of God, with the, with the lens of the kingdom. Let's just pray. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we thank you so much for this platform that we are allowed to share our faith to other people. Lord, thank you so much for uh, the blessing of our family and, our, and of our friends and our community. Thank you so much, Lord, that we get to see more of you every day, even as we experience, as we live in this time of pandemic. Lord, we pray for healing for everyone. Lord, we pray for those who are affected by this virus. Lord, we pray, we pray that you heal them and uh, let them recover so that they could share more of you and how you work in their lives as well lord we pray lord god that um that we could flatten the curve that this virus will not spread in anymore we pray lord god for our frontliners for our um doctors and nurses and our essential workers lord we pray for their safety we pray for our safety also we pray for our homes we pray for our families we pray for our loved ones take care of them um protect them with your mantle of protection 
and lord we continue to pray and lift our eyes to you because we know that you are the only one who can make this all end you are the only one who can heal us and you are the only one who can perform miracles in our lives thank you so much lord and with the intercession of your mother mary and of saint joseph we continue to pray and we love you amen for you lord we thank you because we are not a people who are forgotten and we are not a people who are forsaken because you have always with you have always been with us and you have gone ahead of us you have seen the ending of this story you have seen the moment wherein magiging stable din ang lahat god lord i pray god that we will always be reminded that we are always fighting with you god so lord may that infuse peace and security in us in these times of crisis, God. We thank you, Lord. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Lord, marami, marami salamat for this opportunity that you've given us to receive your fresh word. And during this time of crisis, Lord, pangahawa ka namin ang iyong promises, ang iyong pangarap para sa amin, that you are bigger than this crisis, that you're bigger than our problems. Lord, you are faithful. You are the same, Lord, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. This too shall pass, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless everyone.